Hello friends. Welcome to my channel. Now we are going to discuss introduction of the first unit. The diversity in the living world. So let's start without any delay. Early man could easily perceive the difference between inanimate matter and living organisms. Early man, deified, means worship some of the inanimate matter, like wind, sea, fire, etc. And some among the animals and plants. A common feature of all such forms of inanimate and animate objects was the sense of four means, fear, that they, the boat, means brought. The description of living organisms including human being began much later in human history. Societies which indulged in anthropocentric view of biology could register limited progress in biological knowledge. Systematic and monumental description of life forms brought in out of necessity detailed systems of identification, nomenclature and classification. The biggest spin of such studies was the recognition of the sharing of similarities among living organisms both horizontally and vertically. All present-day living organisms are related to each other and also to all organisms that ever lived on this earth was a revelation means surprising and previously unknown fact which humbled man and led to cultural movements for conservation of biodiversity. Ernst Meyer from 1904 to 2004, the Harvard University, worked from 1953 to 1975, an evolutionary biologist who has been called the Darwin of the 20th century, was one of the 100 greatest scientists of all time. He has a title, Alexander Agassi, Professor of Zoology, Emeritus. Throughout his nearly 80 years career, he researched on 1. Systematic 2. History 3. Evolution 4. Philosophy of Biology 5. Ornithology 6. Taxonomy 7. Zoogeography He almost single-handedly made the origin of species diversity the central question of evolutionary biology that it is today. He also pioneered means developed the currently accepted definition of a biological species. Meyer was awarded the three prizes widely regarded as the triple crown of biology. 1. The Balzan Prize in 1983. 2. The International Prize for Biology in 1994. 3. The Crawford Prize in 1999.